Hello everybody, welcome to Red Tool House. On today's video, we're gonna make this adjustable solar panel mount for the side of our barn out of some recycled metal scrap and an old DirecTV satellite dish. So come along, let's get to building. So I have dubbed 2026 the year of Troy, get your stuff together. <laughs> we are going to try to get better organized in 2026. That is easily my biggest issue that I have, my biggest weak point in my life is I'm horrible at organization. I hoard, I collect, I do all these things, and I have absolutely no method of organization. Well, that's going to hopefully change as we start with the barn project. We've got to get this better organized. We've got to be able to use it more, and we've got to be able to move stuff into some other structures that we got to get built this year. So you may be thinking, Troy, what does a solar panel mounted to the side of your barn have to do with organization. Well, in the barn here, which is 20 by 24, we have a lot of things going on. We've got our tractor parking, fueling station, we've got all of our farm equipment stored here, our, our feeders, the different things we need seasonally. We've got our saw sharpening station back here. We've got some of our Norwood HD36 mill that we're building that we'll be featuring over on Woodcraft Revival soon. Uh, that's there. We've got some hay storage. We've got wood storage in the loft. We've got all kinds of implements laying around here that we want to keep out of the weather. It's just too much crammed into this. So what I'm trying to do is build appropriate structures somewhere else on the property to divide some of this. So we're going to build a implement shed where we can put all of our farm implements there, keep them out of the weather, but get them out of this spot. We're going to make our sawmill station where we're going to have our new mill placed and our sharpening and maintenance and storage. Everything, everything related with log and lumber is going to go up there. And the idea is to, to allow this to just be tractor parking, maintenance, that type of thing, vehicle maintenance. So the solar panel is just a small section of, of a test that we're trying to do here. When we get up to the sawmill station, we're going to be so far away from grid power, it's just not going to make sense to try to run it up there. So we want everything to be off grid. A lot of the stuff that I have for the sawmill is 12 volt anyway. And we're using that down here now. We've got our blade sharpener, our setter, and even our diesel pump for the tractor is all 12 volt. So currently I've got multiple batteries scattered around the barn here that I use, taken from place to place to run those pieces of equipment. Ideally, it'd be nice to have that battery in a fixed spot and the power is just always there. Here beside the barn that's grid tied, there's all kinds of options we could work out. But what I want to do is build a system that's completely standalone so when it goes time to move up to the sawmill station, then that that's functionality is there and it works fine. So with the help of our video sponsor, Dynas, that will feature more in our next, in part two of this video series, we're going to be able to do a centralized location battery station that's going to be able to power all that equipment, 12 volt, and of course, be recharged through a solar panel, through a charge controller. And we'll get into that more in the next video. But first, we got to get this built. I'm going to show you guys how to put this together with zero expense, just using stuff we've had laying around here in our hoarder's pile. So this time of year is a challenge when it comes to solar because this is south facing and the sun never crests the tree line on our south ridge. When it gets late in the afternoon, do we get a little bit of direct sun just over this point, over these uh, Virginia pines? So we're, we're, what I want to do is mount on the side of my barn post here, um, the solar panel, that it can be facing that direction and pick up that, uh, that little bit of sunlight. In the summertime, of course, it's not a problem. We'll just make it so we can pull it straight out and get the sun directly over top. But Got to first come up with a mounting system for the panel here on this post. So part of the issue that feeds this organization process is actually hopefully going to be beneficial for us. So I uh, removed our old satellite internet, or the satellite TV and satellite internet that we no, no longer use, but I, I didn't throw these away. This is my recycle bin. Everything that's here is eventually going to end up in metal recycling. But I've got this uh, direct TV dish that's got a pretty nice post bracket, and I think I can modify this to be able to mount the solar panel on it and, of course, orient it the direction we need to. So we're going to take it inside the uh, shop here, get out of the cold, and start breaking it down and see what we can get into. So I believe what I want is to remove the dish itself and then this bracket and discard that. And that gives us 
three existing bolt points where this can turn this way so it can tilt but then also the entire head can twist and then of course we can tilt this arm as well so I think that's going to give us the articulation we need I just need to get all this torn down So clearly our first challenge is how do we get that to mount to this? Well, I think what we're just going to simply do is take some wood screws and we're just going to screw it right through the panel. No, that's not correct. We're going to try to make a bracket and um, we'll have to do a little bit of, it's bent a little bit, we'll have to do a little bit of welding here, which is not my strong point. But uh, we'll do a little bit of welding. I've got these mounting brackets for the solar panel that can be moved around. And I think what we'll do is put them on the long side, bring them in a little closer, and that'll give us an opportunity to not have to make as big a bracket. Let's get these brackets repositioned here first. All right, so uh, to make the frame, I went out to where I have some uh, scrap angle iron. It's angle iron that was left over from uh, shipping, uh, implements being shipped in. So I always keep that, don't want to throw that stuff away. So it was handy to go grab that. Using the laser cutter, I was able to cut the frame lengths that I needed out of not only angle, but a piece of plate. I think that's uh, eighth inch plate. And I've got a layout put together now that I think is going to work. Oh, and just a little side note, if you're using a laser cutter, make sure you always remember where your toes are underneath the material. <laughs> so here's the rough layout I came up with. And this will allow us to have bolt points on all four panel brackets. Angle iron should give us the strength. And then this plate will be our mounting area. So this will mount... Let a hoozy. And we'll bolt that. We're not going to weld that or anything. And that should give me plenty of clearance to twist and turn and do what I need to and not come in contact with the post of the barn. But we're going to get it all cleaned up, get my uh, cut edges cleaned up, grind those down smooth, take the laser cleaner, knock all the rust off of it so we don't, we're not so, starting with something rusty so we can get good welds, good penetration, but also be able to paint the frame afterwards so it doesn't rust up. So I got everything laser clean, ready to go, it's cooled off as well. So time to lay it out and start welding. I'm uh, using my uh, MIG welder, wire feed, because I don't have gas for the, um, for the laser welder yet. Still working on that. So we'll get this laid out and put together.
All right, so I got my eight holes drilled, got my bolts in, and uh, that's kind of the beauty of these brackets. To loosen them up a little bit to get all eight bolts in. You know, hand drilling, of course, is not precision by any means, but uh, you work with what you got, right? All right, so um, I'm not going to bolt this down yet, obviously. I'm going to take it back apart, flip it over, and get the mount holes drilled, get those tested, and then clean it all up and put some paint on it. going to use the same hardware. Look at the satellite dish itself. They're actually little carriage bolts. They'll work out quite nicely. Here we go. All right, so it's the next day, the paint's all dry. I think that's gonna work. Should shield it from rusting anytime soon. So the next thing I wanna do is figure out how we're gonna get this mounted to the, in the order of operations, mounted to the barn post, to the bracket, to the solar panel. So figure out what makes the most sense. We'll look at, um, taking, I think I'm going to take the, uh, where did it go? Here it is. Probably look at taking this loose since it slides over top of this, this uh, round stock here. So may look at taking that loose first, mounting that, mounting that, so be able to pick all that up and just slide it down because I'm going to be elevated on a ladder. So that maybe make the most sense, slide this in place, but we'll see. That's what we want to do. Get this installed on the barn. Install this to the bracket and the solar panel. That way I can just lift it up, drop it into place. That'd be the easiest to do on the ladder.
<laughs> All right, I gotta say, I love it when a plan comes together. I really like how that turned out. As you saw, I can articulate the mounting arm up and down so I can raise and lower that. Keeps it from bumping into this cross tie I have up here. But then also being able to twist it any direction. I, can, I could go more horizontal if I wanted to. But then being able to correct the, the angle there to lean it back more. So when it comes time for uh, summertime, I can actually just twist that more and it'll make it more you know, straight facing. So uh, here for the winter, we're shooting right to the south, southeast, actually southwest a little bit, and I'm gonna be able to get where the most sunlight comes through this time of year. <laughs> That's pretty cool, because that didn't cost me a dime other than time. Um, obviously the direct TV dish I had from our old uh, system, angle iron come, came from shipping components, and the solar panel was recycled from uh, our cabin project. So in part two of this video, I'm gonna work on wiring the solar panel over to our charge controller and then to our batteries that uh, Dynas has provided us and then show you how we're going to handle operating our 12 volt equipment within the barn. So I hope you stick around for that. Uh, hopefully that'll be in the next week or two. We'll get that one out there. Well, I appreciate everybody watching. I wanna say happy new year to all of you. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you soon.